called podium. Podium. Yeah. Podium. It's like um, where someone stands and speaks with a big box in front of them. You know, it's called the podium. King Triton's birthday was in a couple of days, and the court musicians were playing planning a special per performance. Trish. Christian? Trish. Triton's. That's the name of the king. Triton's daughter, Ariel, would sing while the orchestra. Orchestra. This one's full of hard words. Orchestra. Orchestra played a brand new tune. Sebastian wanted the concert to be spectacular, but. They still had a lot of work to do. The crab raised his baton and and the musicians began to play. Beautiful music filled the sea until clang. Who did that? Sebastian demanded. Um, I did. A young mermaid named Coral replied. Quietly. The best way to play the sim symbols symbols is to hold on to them. Now, if there are no more interruptions, Sebastian said grumpily, "Let's continue." The rehearsal rehearsal means practice. The rehearsal went. From bad to worse, Coral dropped the symbol a second time. Clang! The then she tripped and landed on top of the kettle drum. As Ariel watched, Sebastian threw down his baton. Rehearsal is over. The crab yelled, stormed off. Wait and stormed off. It's a, it's an exclamation mark and I didn't put a capital H in. Oh, you're right. Hmm. The typo. Ariel helped Coral up. Don't mind Sebastian. I'll never be able to get this song right. Lit, lit alone, perfect. Coral said sadly, don't worry about it, Ariel said. The only thing I'm perfect at is being Sebastian, making Sebastian mad. You should have seen his face the last time I went to the surface. You've been to the surface? Coral asked, am amazed. You must be the bravest mermaid ever. It's just something I like to do, Ariel said. I'm always gathering treasures. Would you like to to see my collection? I'd love to, Coral exclaimed. The two mermaids swam to Ariel's grotto. Grotto. It means a little hidden spot in the water. Make yourself at home, Ariel told Coral when they arrived. The wonder of the fish was there. He waved and a fin at them. The young mermaid swam around ex examining 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 jewelry and shiny trinkets. Where did you find all of this? Cora asked as she put on a strand of pearls. I found some of it in in sunken ships, replied Ariel. You've been inside a sunken ship, Coral said with a gasp. Weren't you scared? Of course not. Were you were you flounder? Ariel teased. Nothing to it, the fish fib. So what so what are we waiting for, Ariel asked. Let's go. This is a good one too. Oh, it's not right there. This is a good one though. Coral and Flounder trailed behind Ariel. Soon they arrived at 
the ship that had sunk to the ocean floor. Let's see what's in there, Ariel urged. Her friends followed her through the large portal. It's urged. Urged. Uh, portal inside the ship. Ariel found an old steamer trunk. Look at this, she cried, holding up a purple parasol. Is that what it's called? Parasol? Mm -hmm. Yep. And this portal looks picking up a fancy lampshade. I wonder what it's for. My friends, Gretel can tell us, Ariel said. Follow me. Where are, where are we going? Coral asked. Flounder to the surface, he replied matter-of-factly. Soon the friends arrived at the surface school. Gretel, the seagull, explained their treasures. That is a twirly lyrifer. A twir twirlifer. It's just a, it's not a real word. Mm. He said, looking at Coral's lamp sheet. It's what human ladies wear when they're going somewhere important. Before long, the friends had to leave as they headed home. Coral asked Ariel if she could keep the twirler her at the grotto. Grotto. Oh yeah, grotto. It might get broken at home, she ex explained. Of course, Ariel agreed. The Grotto is my secret place, and it can be yours, too. This is a good one. A few days later, as Ariel swam toward the grotto, she heard someone singing. The voice was strong and clear, but sweet, too. When Ariel arrived, she saw her new friend, Coral. Coral, I didn't know you had such a lovely voice. You should be singing in the concert, not playing the cymbals. The little blonde mermaid shrugged. I just like singing to myself, she ex explained. I never actually perform. The next day, the rehearsal, Sebastian made Ariel and the orchestra practice over and over but some something always seemed to go wrong the big day is tomorrow the crab said fretting fretting yeah it means worried this concert needs to be fit for a king king triton to be exact King trying to be exact. Let's try it again. So they did the rehearsal went on went on and on. By the end of the afternoon, everyone was tired. See you tomorrow, Ariel said. Her voice was raspy. Um on the day of the concert, Ariel could only whisper she had lost her voice. Luckily, she knew who could take her place. Me, Coral said when the princess asked her. But I can, I can't. You must, Sebastian ins insisted. Consisted, yep. Otherwise, King Triton's birthday celebration will be ruined. I can't sing in front of a crowd of her people. Mer people. Mm -hmm. Coral said 
Mm -hmm. It needs like the like hitting her case like um explaining. Cherry can flounder said Coral thought about how she had visited the sunken ship and gone to the surface things she had never thought she could do all because of Ariel. Now her new friend was counting on her. Alright, Coral said slowly, I'll do it. That night, when Coral peeked out from backstage, she nearly fainted. The entire kingdom was there, including her parents and her brothers and sisters. King Triton and Ariel sat in, in the royal box. When it was time, Coral took a deep breath and swam on stage as the orchestra started playing she sang softly, but as she went on, Coral's voice got louder. Before she knew it, the concert was over. The audition be began to clap and cheer. Audience began to clap. Oh. Audience began to clap and cheer. Coral said, Sebastian, smiling. You can give away your symbols. From now on, you, you're going to be a court singer. I also noticed she's wearing the lamp like case or something. Oh, yeah. The pictures are the best. Mm -hmm. After the show, Ariel went to congratulate her friend. She found Coral with her fam family. I didn't know you could sing that like that, one of Coral's sisters exclaimed. No one ever would have known if it wasn't for Ariel, replied Coral. She believed in me. Ariel still couldn't speak, but she gave Coral a big hug. It had been a wonderful evening. That's it. That's a good story. Your sister's asleep. No, she isn't. Let's go right here. Your story. Do your